Hey guys, it's Joseph. We haven't done one of these dash cam experiments in a while. So we've been wondering, what's inside of a dash cam? Now, you may ask, why are we doing this? Well, for one, for myself, I really want to find out what's inside of a dash cam. And secondly, we want to find out what improvements Thinkware has made to the new Thinkware F200 Pro. Now here's what we know, both the FA200 and the F200 Pro record at a 1080p Full HD at 140 degrees, built-in Wi-Fi, built-in supercapacitor, all the same shebang. Even the casing themselves seem quite similar to one another. And if you're wondering, both of these models are priced roughly the same with the F200 Pro, about $10 more than the FA200. My guess is that both of these dash cams are gonna have very similar interiors. Before we begin, here are some basic tips for you. One, we don't recommend trying this at home because personally, when we take these dash cams apart, I don't know if we're gonna be able to put it back together and have it working. And it's not covered by the warranty either. Secondly, if you're not gonna listen to our first tip and you really wanna try this at home, well, make sure that there's no power on your dash cam, make sure it's unplugged and remove the micro SD card first. Before we begin, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to stay up to date on everything Black Box My Car. So let's take a look at the circuit board of the FA200 versus the F200 Pro. So the FA200 is held together by one, two, three, four, five screws, five being the one that got ripped off. But then if you take a look at the F200 Pro, one, two, three, four, five, six. So one more screw when it comes to the F200 Pro. Sturdier, maybe? Both of these batteries are actually exactly the same model. So let's take a look at the serial code. WEC3R0705QD. Yeah, exact same supercapacitor between both models. Now let's take a look. Oops, let's turn these around. You've got your mic held together by a wire that's connected to the where the camera would be. So let's take a look at the video processor chip. So Visually, it's already much smaller on the F200 Pro compared to the FA200. From what we've gathered research-wise, the chip on the F200 Pro is the Ambrella 
compared to the FA200, the chip is Amberella A12. Not sure what the big differences are, but other than the size, from what we've tested between these two dash cams, the video quality is quite similar. Visually, it looks like there's some differences. But in terms of where the placements of the ports are, you know, just like that. Even the, the mic and whatnot. SD card. Yeah, more or less the exact same setup. Now, lastly, let's take a look at the camera lens. This is the one for the F200 Pro. This is the one for the FA200. Honestly, they look exactly the same. Yeah, it'd be kind of cool if we could see if we can fit the circuit board from the F200 Pro directly in the casing for the FA200. So let's give that a shot. So it looks like the screws aren't gonna fit into their respective holes on the new housing. But let's, uh, let's put this over top and see if we can clip it back together. Fit. Yeah, it's not gonna fit. <laughs> so let's see if we can put the F200 Pro back together and then let's see if it still works. And we're back. We've put both the FA200 and the F200 Pro back together. Now the ultimate test is, with my reliance on my super technical skills of putting things back together, whether or not these dash cams still work. Let's start off with the F200 Pro. So, got our power cable here, moment of truth. It takes a minute. I don't think it's working. <laughs> Insert a memory. Ah! <laughs> it works. Well, that means my warranty hasn't been voided, right? We're going to test out the FA200. Now, we did break the circuit board, but it was just a corner where it was held together by a screw. So my hope is that everything is still going to work or it's just gonna blow up in my hand. We'll find out. Two for two! So is there a difference between the FA200 and the F200 Pro? Yes. From what you could tell earlier, as we were taking it apart, we could see that, well, the casing is gonna be a little bit different compared to the looks. The circuit board seems like they're the same. The video processor chip is different, but video quality from what we've tested is gonna be very similar to one another. But to sum it all up, we would say the main difference when it comes to the user experience lies in the rear camera itself, where for the F200 Pro, we're now looking at full HD rear. You can learn more about these dash cams on our website at blackboxmycar.com. And if you're looking to make a purchase, be sure to use exclusive YouTube code BBMCTube to take 5% off your next purchase. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button on your way out. And thanks for watching.